Hi there, I'm Mike, and what I have for you today is a video brought to you courtesy of Papa Gord. Papa Gord, my personal Canadian Santa Claus, sent to me this Walmart exclusive One Jack figure. Uh, and I am super thankful, and I was going to wait to do this video, but the video I was going to do instead was going to be on Tika, the Jawas, and, you know, I just... That was so boring, and I've got this one jack sitting here, so I figured, let's let's open them up. I gotta get that crew, uh, I gotta get my evil protocol droid crew going on, and this will make up my fourth member of my evil protocol droids. As you can see here, uh, just to kinda get you down the line here, we have triple zero, uh, four LOM, or four LOM, however you wanna pronounce it, that's how I pronounce it too. I prefer four LOM though. And then technically Zuckus, because this is the Kenner version of this figure, and Kenner, uh, in their super cool, awesome, awesomeness from the 80s, mixed up Forlom and Zuckus, his names on the package, and there are people to this day that will die on the hill that this is actually Zuckus, and that the other one is Forlom. They're wrong, but it is what it is. Uh, so, um, I kind of treat them as separate characters on my shelf just for the purposes of, uh, you know, having more protocol droids. That's kind of fun. Uh, Triple Zero here is one of my favorites. I've actually done a whole review on him. I've actually done videos on all of these guys. So that's why I'm kind of doing a quickie on this one because he is the exact same figure. I'm not going to get too crazy into him because, I mean, you don't have to. Uh, I, I've done a video on him. I just kind of wanted to do... I wanted to open them up first and I wanted to kind of show off the differences. So he's a Walmart exclusive. He's from Kenobi, as it says right there. You can see on the side, he's number eight in the line. Just like every other Kenobi blurb, it's the same. I'm not gonna read it because if you've seen the back of one Kenobi box, you've seen the back of them all. I remember seeing this in this guy in the uh, trailer for Kenobi and I was super excited. I was like, oh man, are they bringing uh, Forlom back? He's, does he have a bandolier? Does he have two blasters instead of his you know rifle and the answer is no it's it's not forlom it's it's a guy that just looks like forlom and that's okay because he has a droid and and droids kind of like that's their thing right like there's not just one droid you know there's there's not just one kind of c-3po looking droid rolling around out there you know the, just because you see a gold protocol droid doesn't shouldn't anyway automatically make him C-3PO. That's, that's how the Star Wars universe should work. It's not how it does work because people see a golden protocol droid and it has to be C-3PO because that's the one they know. And they know if they make it anything else, uh, people will get upset. And that's kind of what happened here. When Deborah Chow, the director uh, of Obi-Wan, said that this wasn't for Lom. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, I didn't get mad. I did get disappointed, though. Um, so let's take a look here. First of all, obvious differences. Let's do a difference between the OG version of this. Now, all of these, um, I don't want to say it's an original mold because it is largely taken from C-3PO, the first one that was a, a Walgreens exclusive, but uh, they changed a lot. More, most likely, they, or not most likely, uh, they they changed the forearms, giving him elbow articulation. They uh, they thinned the legs up a little bit, and obviously he's got a new head. I think the chest might be largely the same, but uh, there's a lot of different stuff there. So it's it's definitely um, it's it's not like they just took a C-3PO and just painted him a darker color and called it a day. Um, so a couple, there are some molding differences here. Uh, obviously there's some paint differences here. This one's a lot more scuffed up, uh, and kind of rusted. Uh, whereas this one is just more of a sleek kind of gun metal. He does have a, looks like a restraining bolt maybe, uh, right there on his forearm, which I dig. Um, but they does have all the kind of normal protocol droid accoutrement. I like he's got the uh, the painted wires a little bit better uh, on him, but yeah, there's there's a lot less 
weathering than there is on here. And if we go to the, the Kenner color version, oops, I just knocked over Boba Fett back there. It's because that's stupid, not stupid, it's a cool rocket effect, but um, I, I do that, I, I hit it and knocks him over. Anyways, uh, I, let's look at a difference here. This is more of a slate black look from the Kenner colored version. Um, obviously this is painted to kind of look like the original toy. Uh, this is a sh much shinier metal uh, look, metallic look, I should say. Uh, a lot more lustrous, whereas this is a lot like kind of flat and kind of graphite. This is shiny and gunmetal, which I like. And then I want to compare it, even though the head's different. You know, the... the There we go. The <laughs> it's kind of the same, where it's the same kind of dealio. He's... he's a lot less shiny, a lot less gunmetal, a lot more gray, a lot more slate. Um, we'll say there's a lot more space in that middle here than there is on the uh, the forelong body or the one jack body. Man, I do love these figures. Uh, it's a fun figure. So let's take a look at the uh, some other differences here. We have obviously he has a bandolier. Uh, the bandolier adds a lot, in my opinion. I know it's teaching they just threw a bandolier on him. Uh, so I want to look at the head a little bit more. It's the exact same forelom head. That's not different, just in case you're curious. The the painting's a little different, but the, the head itself is not different. So we have the same articulation. We've got wrists that kind of move like that uh the articulation on these newer bodies uh as opposed to like the for instance the archive 3 that just came out is drastically improved mostly because we actually do have an elbow joint it's not much of one but not much of one is better than none at all i mean here's a protocol droid they're not really famous for how well they move you know uh, but also he does have these little holsters on the side so i just kind of wanted to see how these functioned and the answer is they they do i think it's a little weird that there's nothing in the front of this like is that how that's supposed to go uh i guess so but it's it's kind of weird how there's nothing in the front there uh but that that doesn't super matter the what does matter is how does he look with both of these in his hands? Now, the first thing I noticed uh, is one of the issues that a lot of Black Series figures have is they'll have a blaster for the left hand uh, and a hand that can technically hold a blaster in the left hand, but uh, no trigger finger on their left hand. Come on, focus on that left hand there. There you go. Oh, cool. Um, so like he's technically holding it, but it doesn't look great. Whereas this one looks fine. Cause that's, you know, that's how he, that's how he holds it. So I do like that. He has kind of a cowboy look about him. Let's see if I can. Uh, you can get into some some interesting poses. I remember when I first got C-3PO, I got him into some like karate poses, which I liked. One of the things I do wish they came with, maybe there we go. <clears throat> maybe uh, it would have been nice if they'd come with the normal hands for him. I mean, this one does. This this guy came with these crazy uh, death hands the <laughs> with scalpels and injections and saws and stuff on them. But he also came with normal hands if you wanted to, to do that. It would have been cool if they gave all of these guys options to have normal hands uh, as well as, you know, gun-holding hands. Because I feel like they, while they, they are bounty hunter robots they're also you know protocol droids so it'd be kind of cool to have them 
into some kind of normal protocol droid pose, I, su I suppose uh, is the right way to put that. There we go. So I'm gonna have him there. We'll have him here and then there. And that's one Jack. He is fine. Uh, I mean, I think he looks great with the rest of them. I love this kind of evil-looking protocol droid bounty hunter situation they've got going on. He's going to look great on my shelf. Uh, I definitely like the look of these four guys together. I, I want them to do more like this. It is a Walmart exclusive, like I said. It's not out in the U.S. just yet, but I have a feeling it'll probably pretty soon he was an exclusive just like the Purge Trooper was. I don't have the Purge Trooper yet. Um, I told Papa Gord that I was good with just one Jack, uh, and I'm going to wait for the Walmart to actually come out with the Purge Trooper. I have two on pre-order, so we'll see how long that takes. Sometimes I just like to wait and get things normally. Like I feel feels like I'm cheating a little bit having a, a Canadian hookup uh, but it certainly is nice as well and papa gourd if you're watching this thank you so much for getting this to me i appreciate it i love it i love it to death this looks fantastic uh definitely a welcome addition to my shelf uh and you will be seeing it and the next fine editions on my podcast canteen our black series cantina so if you haven't subscribed to that or if you're like hey mike you used to do a podcast on your on your youtube channel and you don't anymore. The answer is I still do. It's just not on my YouTube channel anymore. Uh, it's moved to Patreon if you want to see it. But if you want to listen to it, it's available for free on any podcasting service audio-wise. So iTunes, Spotify, whatever you want, it's there. Uh, but if you do want to see it, you'll have to head over to our Patreon, uh, Black Series Cantina, uh, patreon.com forward slash Black Series Cantina. Anyways, uh, that's if you want to see that, or if you, you know, if you have questions about it, that's what's going on there. Uh, normally I would thank the people that support me on a, my personal, uh, Patreon page at the black series level or higher. But in this case, this one's all Papa, Papa Gord. Thank you so much, Papa Gord for being uh, a really cool guy and a good friend and happy belated birthday. Uh, and thank you so, so, so much for saying this to me. Uh, I absolutely love it. So if you can find it, or if it's still available on walmart.com, I, I do recommend getting it. Uh, I think it's a it's a fun addition. Even if you didn't care about the Obi-Wan show, he, I mean, he's a fun droid. You know, he's a droid with guns. He's a, he's a cowboy droid. Cow droid. So yeah, anyways, I'm not gonna blabber anymore. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for getting this far. Let me know down the downstairs area. Are you getting this? Are you, are you passing on it? I love to read and respond to the comments when I can. Uh, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.